Hello everyone, Leather Teen Scale here, also known as Scale, and welcome to Little Witch in the Woods. This is such a cute game, I cannot wait to get into it. I just wanted to let you guys know ahead of time though that this was originally recorded on my Twitch channel, which I'm going to have a link for in the description below if you want to check out all of that as it happens. But enough talking, let's get into it. Oh, right. So it's Z to select and then arrows to move, so this is a little different. I wonder if this would just be easier with a keypad, but oh, that's so cute. Look at her. Look at how happy she is. Aw. The only other game that I've had with that arrow key and Z thing has been Ickenfell, which is up over on YouTube right now. Okay, so the ambient noise uh, needs to go way up. For now, uh, we're going to see what happens. I wonder where the carrot was. Okay, Ellie, a little, little weird to start your whole narrative off with, but I'm here for it. I'm a sandwich maker at a gas bar, as I said, near the house. Eh, that's pretty good, though. Uh, Z, I think. Oh, that's my hat. My hat has its own thoughts. Thanks, AMD, for just telling everyone my business. You're still thinking about that? We found everything except the carrot. I think it's good that we never found the carrot. Apparently I'm a bit overqualified. Well, good! I mean, like, good and bad. There's expectations that come with that, but still. There was something off about the legendary carrot soup recipe. Huh. I just realized we never checked the men's restroom. Yeah, there are just some lines that you don't cross. Okay. So letting me know ahead of time that there are lines and expectations. I, by the way, appreciate Van Gogh's Starry Night in the back there. And that our bartender is... I don't want to say a lynx, but you, like a leopard, maybe. We searched the whole school, save for that place. But we never found the carrot. Uh, that means the carrot was in the men's restroom. Um, uh, a carrot in the men's restroom? What an odd sense of humor. Yeah, no kidding, Hat. <laughs> I should write Jenny a letter asking her to look through the men's restroom. Can't you ask Will instead? It's the men's restroom, after all. Nope, that, that coward finds it. He'll take it to the teacher bawling like before. Keep in mind that if it weren't for Will, you'd be in jail right now. Or six feet under. Uh, I'm so bored. It's a flashback. Flashbacks are supposed to be boring. Thanks, Hat. I see why no one else wants to ride this god-awful train. It's boring enough to drive anyone insane. Hey, a ticket for this train cost 500 pies. And it stopped the witch's house in Highland. Yep, yeah, that's how... Hylion? Yeah, Hylion. Where all roads lead to. So far, not bad. My immediate boss took a total of five minutes yesterday to say I don't have to micromanage the new guy. Nice. Sorry, I've the the cold is already setting in. Every time I like dress myself, it's immediately after I shower, and I'm just like making decisions based on how hot my body has gotten from the shower. That I'm like, man, I feel like I'm sweating. Now I'm cold. Now that I'm dried. Anyway. Oh. Your second place. At the school for witches. Whatever. I don't care about any of that. How am I s yeah, second place anyway? I sneaked into the forbidden room twice. Three times. I even looked through the forbidden books in the hidden library in the school basement. I still remember that. Horned Rabbit was as big as a house. No wonder Will started crying. So how did I manage second place? I simply didn't want to lose. 
cut it out and sit quietly. This is a train only for those who want to succeed. The witch's house might be dark and damp, but it's only three years of your life. Uh, fine, fine, enough of the lecture. As a matter of fact, I'm disturbed with the thought of taking off my shoes when I get off the train. Oh, weird. Shoes? For what? I wonder what kind of trouble you'll get into when we arrive. I won't. I won't fool around from the moment I get there. Lies. I didn't know you had a self-awareness. <laughs> Don't you know about the terrible city of rules that is Highland? Yeah, I'm just gonna keep calling it Highland. It'd be high. Yeah, no, it'd be Hylion. Hylion? No, Hylion. She called me a smart one because I confidently rolled a burrito. Nice. Yeah! Well, that would make sense. <clears throat> First thing you do is take off your shoes as soon as you get off the train. This is my first time hearing something like that. I heard that Jenny's older sister was wearing strappy boots when she first arrived at Hylion. So she almost couldn't get off because she had to unstrap them completely. See, Mom bought me new shoes as well. Didn't Arya just mean to encourage you? No. Dad also did say the comfortable boots would be better. That's strange. It's true. I'll also ask other people if you don't believe me. Lace boots. It's a pain to lace up boots if you're on board the train to Hylion. Truth remains one. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of options here. The food was really delicious, though. Your face was bright only when you were eating after getting on the train. Apparently, in her words, she's used to having idiots to, at work. I, f I feel that in my soul. Uh, the omelet was overflowing with cheese and crab meat as soon as it was cut. Oh, crab meat? Why? The pink salmon steak seasoned with fresh lemon scented kiwi sauce? Uh, even the slightly frozen strawberries and peach sorbet with whipped cream? Okay, that one I could, that one I could get behind. Without this meal, I would have jumped off the train sooner. It's definitely different from the food you buy at the store at the school for witches. <sighs> I ate that to collect the Great Witch series cards. I got scolded because I got caught keeping the cards and throwing away the bread. Don't do that again in Hylion. I'll definitely try the... Nub... Nebicula cakes there. That's if I get to Hylion before I get bored to death. Um. I should ask the person closest to me before going further. Okay. Hello, Mr. Bartender. Hey, want a drink? No, I don't drink alcohol. Do you have any tea? Of course. Then I'll have a cup of that. Uh, the tea has alcohol, though. Is that okay? <sighs> but then that's just alcohol. Alcohol with tea. Potato, potato. Then can I ask you a question instead of a drink? Who is mixing tea with their alcohol? Anytime. Change category and use keywords. Oh. So I don't begrudge her... Shock at my confidence. You know what? That's fair. Ah. Spilled some water on myself already. Okay. Potatoes do make alcohol. Uh, but who's putting tea and alcohol together? Okay, you can initiate conversations using keywords at your disposal. Change the categories and then use the keywords. What's up? Um, 
personal stories. So, what sort of work do you do here? I'm mixing my life and changing the alcohol. Wait, nope, I think it's the other way around. I'm just an average bartender working at the most expensive place in the world. What brings you to this very expensive train? <sighs> I thought you were listening to our conversation. I stopped listening when it got boring. You know what, that's fair. I'm going to be an apprentice at the witch's house in Hylian. After working as an apprentice for three years, I will be able to graduate from the School of Witches. Wow, Hylian, huh? That's a right proper place, isn't it? So they say. That's probably why you got the train ticket for free. You must be someone special. I don't really care about that kind of thing, though. That kind of thing is what's important at the end of the day. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that, personally. Okay, Long Island iced teas are a thing, but I think she's asking for, like, warm tea. Like, I will- see, I told you, about halfway through, I was gonna flip on a blanket, and then I was gonna be like, why am I cold? It's because you're wearing practically nothing in a dress, you baboon. It's fine, though, I'm comfy. And we all got to see how cute my dress is anyway, so. But yeah, I don't think that's the thing that's important at the end of the day. It's best to just suck it up. You'll be glad that you did later down the road, you know? Yeah, later. Something on your mind? Um. Oh, we already had this conversation. Oh wow, you're both bartenders? Wait. I met her at work, after all. We had to move circum- Wait. Stances, so we're here now. Okay, so both him and his wife, I think, is what they said. The distinction between tea apparently matters in the American South. Yes, it does. And let me explain. In the American South, there are two types of tea. In the American North, there are three types of tea. It's really funny when you refer to the third type to somebody from the South. <laughs> because, um, so there's warm tea, which exists on both. Um, cold tea that is just unsweetened. And then sweetened iced tea. People in the North will sometimes have it unsweetened or they'll get like the the kind that you buy, which is not super sweet. Yeah, I'm from the North. Um, I had to explain to a woman at a Waffle House at uh, about 11 o'clock at night that the North has unsweetened iced tea as an option. Because she thought that we were crazy when we asked specifically for sweet tea that was sweetened. I hope a time comes when you two open up shop again. I want some water? Yes, actually. Let me know if you need anything to drink. Something on your mind? Okay, so we can still keep... We only sell alcohol at the moment. Something on your mind? Okay. I may not look the part, but I used to be quite the big deal back in the day. Anyone ask? <sighs> Virgil, shut up! You must have been very popular. There were customers who'd visit the bar just to see me. Even to this day, I take pride in these eyebrows of mine. After all, my wife said she fell in love with them. Aww. Whoa. A romantic tale that starts with eyebrows? I mean, yeah. You asked for iced tea here, and you're getting brisk nest tea and some other kind like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's part of what I was talking about. And then, you know, you gotta, like... Every now and again, sometimes you'll just have people ask for Ar Arnold Palmer by name. But yeah, it's that kind of divide. It was... That was a fun experience. You want some water? Cocktails are my specialties. Something on your mind? I guess. Oh, lace up boots. Training activity.
I guess we end the dialogue. Goodbye. Okay, that's the door out. I should ask the person closest to me before going further. <sighs> it's the only pleasure on the train. What do you mean, ask the person closest to me? Welcome. Want some water? Hold on. Ah, no, no, no. I'm trying to get out of this. Tab? Should shoes be taken off when arriving at Hylian? Oh, that's what it is. May fall asleep as I've been up since two. Yeah, that's totally fine. I completely understand. In fact, I think Rich is asleep in the other room as we speak. Okay. Um, can I take a look at your shoes? My shoes? What for? Thank you, Nightbot. From what I've heard, you have to take your shoes off before you step onto the Hylian station. You work at the train, so you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, that story. Absolutely, plenty of confused passengers who are all dressed up for Hylian. If you're wearing shoes of that sort, I'd advise you to untie them in advance. Oh. Oh, ye. Oh, sorry, I thought that was her. Oh, ye who reacheth Hylian, look first upon thy shoes. Or that's how the saying goes. Hey, Thanksgiving lunch at mom's after I finished work. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, our Thanksgiving is still about a month away. But what I'm really excited for is in five days, I will have my birthday. And that's what I'm most excited for. Is I'm, I'm excited for my birthday. Not because... Well, okay, it's, it's for like self-centered reasons, but like I am going to spoil the absolute hell out of myself. Why? Because I want to. And we're going to go out to my favorite place to eat. Unfortunately, I'm canceling stream that day, but I'm going to be like, it's, it's going to be really good for my mental health and I'm very excited for it. it. It's like my own personal me dedication holiday and I love it. I look forward to it every year. I highly recommend to anyone taking your specifically just your birthday off, making sure that you have that off every year so that this way you can just relax. I've gotten almost all the elements I need to pull off, Egan. Okay. Ah, sorry. So I get it, yeah. Oh. But yeah, like, I just, I can't wait to, to have that whole day just, just dedicated to me. And like, I'm, I'm gonna eat exactly what I want for breakfast. I'm gonna go to the bookstore and buy some books. I might get, like, a small little lunch or something. Dinner's going to be really nice. Like, I I'm sleeping in. Like, I just can't wait. Egon. Oh, as in, got it. Egon Spangler from Ghostbusters. Got it. That makes more sense. What do you think, Selena? Selena thinks he's also passed out. Anyway. See, Virgil, I was right. The preppy boots Mom gave me as a present tell me just as much. Those are some nice boots. Right? My mom bought them for me when she found out I was graduating Magnum Cum Laude. Sure is amazing that you're graduating Magna Cum Laude despite your antics. <sighs> you gonna keep up with that attitude of yours? <laughs> Hearing you two speak, I have a feeling being bored won't be an issue. Nope, it's so boring. Aren't you bored, Mr. Bartender? I've gotten used to it. Yeah, that's fair. But it's certainly gotten less boring thanks to you and your hat. You've been lit. Oh, you've been listening? Other guests would have heard about your arson. Oh. At the school for witches by now. What? I didn't set it on fire. Really? Oh, um. Okay, sure, there was a fire, but. That was because I shook a potion five times and made it explode. Potions must be shaken three times only. Not even a witch like me knows that. Exactly! How can you not try shaking it four times, having heard that? But you said you shook it five times. <laughs> Nothing happened on the fourth time, so I shook it once more. An inquisitive mind, you. I've already got the making, you've already got the makings of a fine witch. 
Thanks for the praise. I just, I uh, don't think he was praising you like that. I wish I had a hundred dollars just to pull out my butt for spirit proton pack. Oh, instead of the inflatable one that just comes with my jumpsuit. That would be nice. I... Oh, oh, I, I, now, now it's all clicking together. Now it's all clicking together. I don't think that you had mentioned that, um, you were going to be dressing up as Egan Spangler. So I'm just sitting here like, is this a, are you playing the Ghostbusters game and I'm missing something? Or, because like, I remember you were playing that. I don't know if you still are. Not that I don't care, it's just been... Since, since you have last been in stream, the insane number of things that I've gone through between multiple medical appointments, a, a massive family scandal, which I'm still in the process of undergoing, still learning about that, uh, and I have a very crucial and key part to play in it, as in, I'm not allowed to say anything. And that's the hardest part. Um, and then on top of it, my stove broke. And at least, like, two of these things are kind of related. Actually, no, all three of these things are kind of related, because the medical problems are in part related to why I haven't moved yet, and, you know, it's a whole list of things. But yeah, so that's, that's what's been going on <laughs> on my end. I should be on my way, then. All right, then, have a fun trip. For Halloween, I use that... For Halloween... I use that to prep for the next con season. I mean, that's a good plan. You can't act like a country bumpkin once you're in the city. Got it? You're not going to ask just one person, are you? Why? One is never enough, you know. Even the greatest detectives never reach a conclusion based on a single piece of evidence. I feel like that's a call out to Phoenix Wright. Also, I feel like playing Phoenix right now. I've been watching um, the the vodka aunties play through Phoenix right, and I have the the triple collection on Switch. So, like, I think that might be a down the line one. I don't know if I might do that for more relaxed Mondays or what. We'll see. Hmm, you have a point. Okay, so see notes with keywords. Lace-up boots. Oh, look at the little pupper with the hat. Oh, that's so cute. <sighs> okay, so it's a pain to wear lace-up boots if you're boarding the trade to High Leon. Truth remains one. So talk to these three people. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to, like, angle my body in the best way to do this. Um... Oh. Why, hello. Is there anything else for me to examine while I'm here? I figure since I'm over here. Hello. Hello. Um. Oh. Hello. Yeah, I'm just going around talking to everybody. I hope that's cool. Am I disturbing you? A negative. What's the issue? I love that your eyes are different colors, by the way. Oh, I wanted to ask you about something. You're on the way to Hylion, right? Correct. Um... What's the matter? Oh, it's just that you have a very blunt way of speaking. I mean, so do I, but hey. Oh, my. Old habits die hard, especially when one is deep in thought. <laughs> you sound like the janitor from my school. Well, I used to be a soldier. Oh. Oh, no, people are going to call me a furry if I admit that I have, like, that I love his character design and I'm already now invested in him as a person. So what brings you here? Speak. Um, I wonder if I can get away with doing a personal story. Um, so you live in Hylian? Correct. I own a flower shop there. Oh, and that's why he has the cute little flower, uh, at, hmm. Would you, would that be a tie clip? Is that what that would be? Oh, that's cute, though. Wow. Speak. Uh, lace-up boots. Before that. What? 
You've been staring at my feet for a while. Is there some kind of problem? No, I promise you I don't actually have a feet fetish. I'm just looking to see if you're wearing super lace intensive boots. Oh, I was gonna ask... Uh, anyway... It, isn't it comfortable to wear such strappy boots? Yeah. Dad. Hold on. Ooh. Sorry. My ear is, like, just killing me. I think some of the hair just, like, got in my ear and then it started itching. There we go. Ugh. Yeah, isn't it uncomfortable to wear such strappy boots? It takes time to put them on and it takes time to take them off. But I'm used to it. Then it would be hard for you when you arrive at Hylian. What? What are you talking about? I mean, you have to take your shoes off when you get off, right? What? 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 Huh? Oh, uh, you were kidding. I'm sorry, I'm rather dull when it comes to things like this. No, I was actually very serious. Uh, Jenny! Mr. Bartender! The mystery has been solved. Did I make some kind of mistake? No, no, I just realized that I was deceived. Oh, come to think of it, I remember now. It's a joke to make fun of people who visit Hylian for the first time. Oh, stop, you don't have to kill me twice by giving me that much detail. I'm sorry. Are you holding back any laughter? Uh, no. No, I'm not. I hope I get to see him again once we get into Hylian. If I'm hanging out in Hylian all this time... I better see more of this guy. He is such a wonderful character, and I'm going to be so upset if I don't see more of him. He's trying so hard to be considerate of you. Don't ask twice. Virgil, I hate you even more now. You don't need to be too upset. When I went there my first time in the past, I was also tricked by a colleague and took them off. <sighs> that doesn't comfort me at all. I'm sorry. How do you feel? Why are you asking me that? Your molars might fall out. Relax a bit and tell me. I can't believe Jenny deceived me. There's a reason why she's your friend. Now go back to your seat quietly and wait until you've arrived. We still have... To... Th to three... Wait. We still have to three more days to go. Sorry? Brain just glitched out. Three more days. Three more days. One day more. Sorry, there's, there's someone from my acting school somewhere in the distance that's cringing because I chose to make an acting school joke almost ten years after I graduated. <laughs> About eight years after I graduated. I'm sure they're proud of me, guys. Anyway. That's as terrible as the smell of spotted shiitake mushrooms. Uh, they do smell bad. Hello. Oh, you're an otter! Oh my goodness, you're so cute! Oh, you're just so cute. I just do a little face and oh my god. This is the cutest. I love otters. I remember playing with otters at a at a zoo when I was a kid, and I'm I'm really happy about that, so just oh my goodness. It's near twenty years since mine. Still make jokes. Every now and again I'll i I'll like flash back to some old jokes from then and I'm like, God, we were dumb. And they're great. <laughs> Ugh. Um, I'm an attendant at, of, of Brightman Railroads. My job is to ensure the passengers' comfort and safety. Up ahead is the engine room. Oh. Okay. Well, we don't have anything special left. The small talk is forbidden during operation. Up ahead is the engine room. Okay. Am I not allowed to go to the engine room then? Is that what I'm hearing? 
Well, thank you, Roy. I appreciate you. All right, now have some patience and stay seated. Ah. The truth remains one. I'm bored. But you just sat down. This is torture. Stare out the window if you're so bored. Yeah, look outside. Look, that's a mountain. And it must be hiding a cave with uh, strange pillars and statues and, and a giant door. Sounds like the prologue to a story where you awaken a terrible demon. Or a really good anime, honestly. Please don't be offended by the statement as I know I use they them pronouns, but that reaction was so girl. I know. Every now and again, like, I lean into it <laughs> a little. Um, so I'm a form of non-binary known as gender fluid. So I, like, hop around a lot um, on the gender spectrum. It's so, like, some days I'm having particularly very effeminate days, and then other days I'm, like, really not. So in my outside of stream day-to-day -day life, I'm, like, way more, like... I'm, I'm way more like a solid mix of everything. Every now and again, you'll see me turn into a dude bro, which is hilarious. And then um, every so every so few moments when it's something that's genuinely cute, I'm just like, I uh, this is the cutest thing I've seen. <laughs> I've got to like go full in, and that's where I end up. <laughs> uh, okay. So wait, hold on, Virgil. Shut up and look out the window! At the summit of the mountain! Oh, that's a beautiful tree. That is... Like, and I don't just mean, like... In terms of, like, the narrative. I mean, like, really, kudos to the art director for this game, or... The lead artist, or whomever, that drew this tree, because that's absolutely incredible to look at. There's a gigantic shining tree at the top. A gigantic, shining tree. Oh, why is it shining? Does it have luminous flowers? Oh, it must be so beautiful up close. Give it up. This train won't stop for two days. Uh, I have to get out now. Maybe we crash. Fat chance of that happening, so just stay bored. After all, you signed up for three years of even more boredom. Oh. <sighs> Aren't there any crocophants nearby? Nope. I have issues with regular words. Every now and again, stumble over myself. Crocophants had, like, not even the bit of hesitation. Why? <sighs> what is it about boa... What? Oh, sorry. What about boa constrictors? Nope. Oh. This isn't the jungle. Train robbers? This isn't the Wild West. It, it's a healing game, remember? God bless Hat for breaking the fourth wall. Love you, Virgil. Also, can we just talk about the fact that the Hat's name is Virgil? Like, as in Static Shock. Virgil, like Virgil Hawkins, Virgil. Anyway. We are going backwards. Hey, a boa constrictor. The correct line is what's going on. Ah, there's no station here, so why are we stopping? I'm not sure. Maybe there's something wrong with the train. I doubt it's a boa constrictor, though. I don't care if it's not a boa constrictor. Please, just say that there's some massively critical issue. Please, please, please. Please? Okay. Massively critical issue, here we are. Oh, you're so cute! We apologize for the inconvenience. A critical issue, perhaps? The train cannot continue its journey due to a critical issue. Yes! I knew she was going to say that. Attention, the train will stop until tomorrow morning. And the departure time. Can we go outside? Will likely be announced tomorrow. We will depart immediately, if possible. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. In the meantime, please avoid wandering too far from the train. Let's go. I'm not sure if you remember, but... 
Of course I remember. The shining tree is at the peak. No, no, not that. We have to get back by tomorrow morning. Then we should get going. Okay, off to go find the shining tree. Oh, wow, we have, like, real-world time. Is it, it's not going yet. Welcome. What's up? Okay, so you don't have anything else to add. Um, what if we hit tab? Search for the shining tree seen from the train. Okay. Wow, it's so dark. If you're scared, we can go back into the train. I love it. Let's hurry. Yeah, it's no problem. Ooh. Although I do typically lean more into, instead of N and B, I will like spell it out. Uh, like phonetically, E-N-B-Y. Because, um, America reasons. <laughs> okay, open memo board, close memo board. I've been doing that. I don't know why you needed to tell me to do that. I've already been doing it. Sorry, you can't go beyond here. Why did the train stop? There is something in the train's path. We're working to get rid of whatever's in the way. Hmm, something's in our way. Is it a boa constrictor? A boa constrictor? No, no, it's just a strange prickly vine. A strange prickly vine? Yes, a prickly vine. It wasn't there yesterday, but it seems to have grown overnight. We can't seem to cut it down with the regular axe, but we're going to do our best. We've contacted the witches, so I'm sure they'll be able to help. They'll be here in no time to help. I tried. I tried really hard. I had no problem with crocophant, but that whole sentence was just... No. Fair, but I'm falling asleep. That's fine. I'm gonna put my phone down before I drop it on my head. Also fair. It's okay. If you fall asleep listening to the sound of my voice, I will never be offended by that. Not ever. I try, I try to be nice and chill, so. Oh, can I take a look? I happen to be a witch. Um, did I, I hit the button. <sighs> You're our passenger. It is our responsibility to make sure that you are safe. Plus, normally these tickets are like $400 and there's no way I'm making a $400 passenger do anything. No, we'll take care of it, so please, be patient. Oh, can I just take a peek? I'm sorry. Oh, you cute little otter. All right, fine. What is this? What is this car? Nothing for me to go back into. Saved? Okay, that scared me. Hmm. It's a hill. It won't be easy to climb. Look over there. There are vines hanging on the hill. I'll be able to climb that much. That's bad news. Eh, it's fine. Oh, a secret passageway, Virgil. I don't think it's a secret or a passageway. I bet there's a path beyond here. When I get up, I'll message you some of my Amazon frustrations. Oh, man. I feel that in my soul already. Huh, what's this? It looks like a little honey pumpkin. What is that? It's a type of weed that grows in forested areas. The vines grow so fast that you can never get rid of it by hand. You must find the nucleus hidden somewhere to get rid of it. Huh, I guess we can also get rid of this if we find the nucleus. Or just return to the train quietly. That can't happen, Virgil. Let's go look for the nucleus. It must be nearby. Since the nucleus gives off a light when you touch the vine, you'll be able to find it. I don't think that would be it. Ah. Oh, holding it down. Holding it down. And it just popped right off. So easily. Oh, it died. Oh, it's fine. Great, it's time to explore. Please don't use that word, explore. That word gives me anxiety, no thanks to your mother. Oh, I can sprint. Okay. Um, so press the sprint button to go faster than normal, but it does use stamina. Okay. 
What is... Oh! Cranapple. Like, like, is in the stuff that they use to make the... The... What's it called? Can I... Okay, so I can shake things. Huh. The shining tree is at the peak... Oh, that's him. Shiny tree is at the peak of the mountain, so go quickly if you want to see it. We must return to the train by tomorrow morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Let me just pick up my branches and get the crab apple. I haven't seen time change, so. I don't know what I'm gonna need. I got a witch flower, whatever that is. Ooh. I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, I'm up here. What is this? This place looks really pretty. Alright, I'm going, I'm going. What are you? Oh, you're just a fallen log. Okay, I thought you were something special. I I know. I'm I'm going. If you keep interrupting me, I'm not gonna get there any faster. How does one... How does one even? Okay, there's a witch flower. The peak of the mountain. I know! Um, I'm just gonna keep passing through. Oh, and I'll show you the trap I found for my costume. Hey, yeah! Maybe reshare some of my uh, GFM to attempt to get the spirit pack. Yeah! A mountain! Hey, Ryan! My brother is cruel, making me take on life insurance for crying out loud. I'm only 42. I remember my dad getting life insurance when he was 30, I think I remember right. But... I, like, just very vaguely remember that. That's a bad thing, right? I always hated mountains. My leather gets worn out from all the wind. Eh, you'll be fine. Don't worry about it. What is that? Oh, mango. You never know what you're going to need at this rate. I don't want to, like, go places without it. Because it's not like... What is... I'm trying to catch it. Do I not have a thing? Okay, I can't do anything with that. What are you? You look like children. The answer to everything in the... To life and everything in the universe. Ah. Okay. I'm trying to make sure I get these mangoes as I go. Yep. I don't want to be gone for too long. Okay. Here we go. You don't have the right chalk. So I have a feeling I'm coming back here. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I can't just grab that. What is this? I can't do anything with this, so... By the way, Scale, I platinumed Ghostbusters Remastered in like a week. Nice. Okay, I can't speed climb. Let's just keep going. Oh, is this how much stamina I have for the whole day? I was not aware of that. 
Come on. Okay, nothing I could do there. 